Now for the exciting part. Let's take a look at one of our finished maps. Navigate to the Explore tab of the project you're interested in. On the right, we can see our high-resolution aerial map of our project. And we can zoom in to see any area of our map in high resolution. We can also take a look at different perspectives of our map by looking at something like the elevation, where higher elevations are in red and lower elevations are in blue. We can also take a look at the 3D model. Pretty amazing considering we've only taken a few images. At any point, you can also change the resolution by clicking on the little settings icon in the top right hand corner. When looking at our maps, we can also measure areas we're interested in by using any one of our annotation tools. This location annotation shows us the coordinates, elevation, as well as specific images of this particular annotation. While this line annotation shows us the total horizontal length, surface length, and slope of this particular line, along with the visualization of the elevation profile. This area annotation shows us the total area as well as surface area of this particular annotation. We can even add overlays like design plans and visualize them over our site map. At any point, we can click on the information icon next to a map name to edit the map name, view the acreage mapped, as well as perform map specific actions like calibrating a point or cropping your map. Once we're done manipulating the data, we can export all of this information and bring this data into any third-party software. You simply select the layer, the file type, as well as any map projection or resolution you need for this particular file type. When you're ready, just hit export and you'll receive an email when your export is ready. You can also download previous exports at any point by selecting them from the list below.